Hi, today we're going to talk about what is IoT. IoT stands for the Internet of Things. Some people say it's the Internet of Everything. The whole deal about IoT is that it's really not very magical. It's not one set of protocols or one set of the way you build things. What it is, is connecting devices and sensors to the Internet. Let me just give you an example. Our Sun IoT Beginners Project we talk about has a very sophisticated little sensor on it that detects sunlight, infrared, and even UV. So it can tell if you're gonna get sunburned. And so what does this do? This allows you to put this out in the sun and send your sun conditions, what is happening in your place, up to the internet. And so you can see it on the internet display or communicate with other people who might wanna share what the sunlight is doing at their exact house. Now, how interesting is that? Well, it's the process that's important here. You take information from sensors, you send it up to the internet, you put it in a central database, maybe you make use of the data, or you can just put it up in your page at your school and let people see what the sun is doing at the school. You can also do this with weather stations. One Switch Dock Lab product is called Grove Weather Pie, and it allows you to build, uh, take a Raspberry Pi and turn it into a very sophisticated weather station. That information can act as an IoT too. An Internet of Thing, here we're recording all the weather at your house and we're sending up to the internet, even to uh, a commercial service like Weather Underground, where you can actually see your weather station up on the internet and anybody can look at it. You can also collaborate. You can work with other schools or other individuals to combine your weather information and get a better idea of your microclimate and what's going on. But the key thing is, is you're building these devices, you're learning about the Internet of Things. Now, what about some of the commercial examples for the Internet of Things? Well, some of you probably have a Nest thermometer. Well, a Nest thermometer, or a thermistor rather, sits uh, your furnace control. It sits there and measures the temperature of your house. It also notices when you walk by. And it takes all this information and figures out when to turn the air conditioning on, when to turn the air conditioning off, and how you can maximize your energy usage, or minimize your energy usage, maximize your energy efficiency. All that's pretty cool. What else does that information go? Where else does that go? Well, it can be sent up to help power companies estimate the demand so they can adjust their production to meet what the customers are doing that. And there's a whole nother thing that we can do with this kind of technology. Say we have a bunch of solar power stations out there all putting energy into the grid. Well, it's gonna be a very cloudy day. So what you can do is the power stations can say, okay, anybody, could we reduce the air conditioning today because we're not generating as much power? And remember, if we don't have to switch on the coal stations and things like that, we create less pollution. So there can be a feedback on the Internet of Things where it's making life better for everybody. They talk about how many Internet of Things IoT devices we're going to have. In the year 2020, they're predicting to have 16 billion devices. That means there will be about, you know, three or four IoT devices for every person on Earth. Now, this sounds like a huge number, but if you sit down and count the number of your little computers, the little computers that actually exist in your, uh, in your kitchen, for example, you'll rapidly come up to 25 or 30. I mean, the toaster has a computer in it. Your microwave has a computer in it. The refrigerator probably has a couple of computers in it. Your TV has a computer in it. All these devices, everything now, has little computers in it. So what turns those into IoT devices? communications. If these devices can talk to one another or it can talk to the internet, supply data both directions, that's what makes a little computer an IoT device. Here at SwitchDoc Labs, we're going to be doing a lot of IoT projects in the future. We've already got Grove Weather Pi and we're just about to release some really interesting stuff like lightning detection and things like that, which we can sense more things about your environment and communicate them to each other and up to the environment.